Hello, welcome to this video. This is a video in a series of uh, videos regarding HTML and how to use HTML code to build a website. So, let's go ahead and get started. In our previous video series, we were talking about how to use tags in our HTML document to uh, create and build content and how to manipulate that content with the HTML, with those HTML tags. Um, so let me go ahead and show you this quick example. This is not going to be a long video at all. So this document you should be familiar with. I've used it in previous uh, HTML video series uh, talking about, like I said, how to use the various tags and uh, different attributes to create HTML documents so that your browser can see the content that we wanted to see. So in this last uh, video with HTML, after this video we'll be moving on to cascading style sheets and then JavaScript. This, these videos are for, the, for people who want to learn how to build a website through hand dealing with, with code with actual code and don't worry for those of you who are not interested in coding I will have a video series on using what are known as WYSIWYGs to go ahead and create websites as well there's a lot of them out there uh, some of them more popular than others but we'll go over those in pre in uh, in next vi in the following videos but in this one I just wanted to go over real quickly over this document and like I said this document will be made available to you um, in a link okay so I wanted to go ahead and show you this document this is what it looks like now okay you can see we opened it in a browser uh, let's go ahead and minimize it I just wanted to go over a few more things so that you could learn once you have this your 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 HTML document available you can manipulate it and add whatever you want to to it. This document that I have here, you can download this and you can add, subtract, do whatever you want to to modify the document to look like whatever you want. And it doesn't matter, okay? Like for this one document with the navigation bar, we, we you might want, as you can see right here, it's over to the side, right? This navigation bar, this is over to the side. Maybe you might want it more to the middle. Well, you can do that easily if you know how to manipulate it. All we're going to use is another div tag. And that's just going to be div or, or bracket, div space align. And then we're going to add an attribute. Remember, anything with uh, uh, after the equal sign is an attribute. And we're going to put in double quotes. And then we're going to close that, right? and then so that we can align it there's three ways of aligning it you can align it right you can align it left and then for us we're gonna align it in the center okay and don't forget we're still not done not only do you have to create whatever tag you create for a div tag you can start it and then you gotta close it so we're gonna go ahead and close this div tag with a uh, forward slash div okay then we're gonna go ahead and save this document then we're gonna go back to the browser that's it there and then we're gonna refresh the uh, document I'm gonna do that from the keyboard with the control R command alright and as you can see it's moved to the center of this uh, web browser or this website alright and you can do that for any any amount of content that you want, right? I just wanted to show you that there are ways of manipulating this document. Once you download it, you have my permission to download this document and manipulate it any way you want to to create whatever website you want. All right. Let's go back to the document. Let's make one other uh, adjustment. Uh, let's see here. Let's make an adjustment on the um, on the image file, the tux image file. This image file right here, as you can see, I'll highlight it. It's over to 
the left hand side. Maybe we might want to make that in the middle and maybe we might want to distinguish it a little bit more by putting a line on the top of it and a line on the bottom of it. We're going to, this line right here, this is a part of my background. We're going to ignore that. Okay. But now let's come to the tux, tux document. And once again, we can uh, create a div, a, a bracket, a div, space, align, and then equal sign, then double quotes, then we'll close that. And this one we might want to make in the center, right? And before we do anything else, we want to come back here and we want to close it. And we close it with the forward slash div line. Also, in addition to that, we also want to put a horizontal line. So that's just going to be a bracket hr. And remember, as we said in previous videos, the horizontal tag does not require a closing tag. It just works on its own with one tag. And so we're going to want to probably put a line up here as well. And then we're going to go, to go ahead and save that. Then we're going to go back to that page. And then we're going to refresh the screen with the control R. And then as you can see, we've made this image in the middle of the screen. And we have a line on the top of it and a line on the bottom. Like I said, this line right here, that's a part of the um, that's a part of the background. So we're just gonna ignore that for now. Okay? So I just wanted to let you know it's not it looks like it's a lot of code, but it's really not. There's only a few uh, codes that we learned throughout this video series and we we learned them all with using and manipulating HTML with tags and all you have to really do is memorize a few tags that's all um, other than that that's all you need to do and all, that's all you need to know in order to manipulate an HTML website and a document okay and as I said I will provide this content for you where you can download it and then you can use it and manipulate it and use it to create as many different types of websites as you like. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you watching this video and you have a good day. Hope you like and subscribe. Bye-bye.